Welcome to Assistant on Air, where we have conversations about building for Google Assistant. I'm Tony, and I'll be your host today. I'm a developer relations engineer for Google Assistant. And today, we'll be chatting with Alan, one of our GDEs, or Google Developer Experts, for Google Assistant. Welcome, Alan. Hey, Tony. Great to be here. Good to see you again. Yeah, great to see you too. And you know, I'm sorry we couldn't be in person, but hopefully uh, sometime soon in the near future. Oh, I hope. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, let's just dive right into it. So do you mind uh, telling us a little bit about what you do? Sure. I'm Alan. I work for a company called Objective Consulting, which is a consulting company that uh, helps our clients kind of understand new technologies and how they can do things better and mostly how they can continue doing what they're doing better to help their clients. So, so we do a lot of that. As you noted, I'm also a Google developer expert. Uh, for the assistant and other technologies. And I do, in some ways, much of the same thing, helping developers understand how to use new Google technologies to make their products better and help their clients out with Google technologies. That's great. Yeah. And uh, you definitely are, you know, you're well known in the community and we appreciate all of your hard work that you put out there. So I know a lot of folks benefit from your expertise. So. It's great working with the technology. It's, it's always a wonderful bunch of folks and I love doing what I do. That's great. Um, well, so, you know, elephant in the room. I, As you know, we had to announce that conversational actions are being sunset uh, in June 2023 and that we're going to be pivoting our focus towards more Android uh, applications and specifically app actions. So uh, do you have any experience with app actions? And could you tell us a little bit about that? I've been working with app actions. You know, I, I started out slowly using the code labs that you folks made available. Um, and kind of just getting my feet wet, getting understanding on, on how they work and how they fit into the entire Android app platform in general. Um, so nothing out there yet, but I've been you know, exploring it and seeing what it can do and uh, kind of exploring the potential and how these new technologies fit in together. And I'm pretty excited about you know, the future of, of where all of this is going and, and what's available today. Yeah, that's great. And, uh, you know, app actions is kind of where conversational actions were earlier on in their, their lifetime as far as being single shots. But what do you see as some of the benefits of app actions today for both developers and users? I think the biggest thing is to understand that app actions are fit into the Android platform as a whole. So we take advantage of the fact that we've got this very, very uh, rich and well-developed platform, Android over the past years. And we're now bringing into it this new modality of voice and audio so that we can use voice inputs as a way to, to help control our apps. And over time, we'll be able to use and understand better how to do things like send responses back using audio. So I think what's, what's most exciting for me is taking this very mature platform that we already know how to do lots and lots of things with and bringing into it this relatively new technology of voice and audio and opening up a whole new dimension to app developers and, and seeing what they're going to do with it and what benefits they're going to be bringing to their users. Yeah, that's that's very helpful. And, uh, you know, it, I think it really will help us get to the point where the assistant is truly just an integrated part of everybody's day, daily lives and day to day interactions with their devices, whether those are auto devices or wearables or, you know, something else. I definitely agree. I think what this starts to do is make the assistant much more um, ubiquitous. You know, we already have it as part of our lives. This will also start increasing how it can be ambient, how we can just use our voice at the right times to invoke the apps that we're already familiar with and already using. So, you know, you were talking about this a little bit, but uh, as far as the future of this, what do you think some of the, you know, what are the, some of the features that you're excited about or that you would like to see of App Actions and or just Assistant and Android together in general? Well, I think one of the great things are the features that we're already seeing that are part of App Actions. So right now, App Actions, not, you know, the kind of basic intent of them is to help you launch the actions that you already have in a faster and easier way. And I think as developers start to get used to how app actions can be deployed and integrated into the apps that you already have, you'll be able to make it uh, better and easier for your users to get right into the part of the app that they're most interested in being. So, you know, right now you can, you launch an app and you might present with them with a menu screen or a, a top screen with a menu on it. 
and you click on something and maybe you need to enter some information or select an item and you, you kind of drill down with app actions and with a feature that's known as dynamic shortcuts, you're able to make it so that you can prompt a user, do you want a way to go directly to this page with your voice? And then in the future, they can invoke an app using that phrase that they've determined and go right to the page that they already want with content pre-filled in. So I can easily imagine at some point in the future, sometime, you know, in a near future in some ways, they'll be able to issue a command, do this, and your app will do that, skip a bunch of pages, fill in information that makes sense, and speak back to them saying, okay, here's what I've done. And that cuts out a lot of work of a user, you know, finding your app on their phone somewhere and opening it and going to the screen and typing in information. It really just streamlines that entire process. And I really see that that's what app actions are kind of aimed at as, as streamlining that process. And as developers understand that and understand better ways that they'll be able to take advantage of that streamlining and, and that personalized streamlining that will be available, we're going to see more and better and more interesting uses of, of features that will be available. I'm really, really excited to see where dynamic shortcuts and similar features will be evolving. Yeah, it's, I, I agree with you. I think it's really exciting to see what everyone's going to be building. So we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Don't we always, right. that, that's, that's the fun part and the challenge of developing is, is waiting to see what comes back <laughs> and, and then building. That's true. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Alan, for coming in and sharing with us today. We really appreciate it. And we appreciate you taking the time to chat with us. And we look forward to seeing you at some of the community events that are coming up this season. I'm looking forward to getting out into the community and helping share how we can all make app actions better and, and just seeing everybody. Agreed. Definitely. Well, and for everyone, uh, we hope that you liked today's show. And if, as always, if you have any suggestions for future episodes that you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. And also, as always, you can follow us on Twitter for updates, new episodes, and engage with the community. And then also, don't forget that we have a newsletter you can sign up for. So we've got lots of resources for you. And I've been Tony, and we'll chat with you next time. Yeah.